Say you're a normal person who wants to become a leftist. Great, sounds like a good step of personal development to me. But you might run into problems trying to learn how to think like a leftist. Because with leftist logic that lacks any rooting in rational thought, integrity, or self-awareness, you can be left confused and unable to grasp their unique thinking methods. That's why I'm going to walk you through a very clear flow chart that'll show you exactly how to think like a leftist. So you can too. It's pretty simple. Let's start from the beginning. Okay. Now you gotta know how to contemplate some key questions and political hot topics. So let's start with this. My body, my choice. Is that a true or a false statement? Okay, well, are we talking about killing a baby inside of your body? Yes. Well then, my body, my choice is a true statement and always is because it's your body, nobody else should ever have any say in the matter. So congratulations, you're on your way to thinking like a leftist. But let's just say, no, we're not talking about killing a baby inside your body. Well, are we talking about injecting a very profitable pharmaceutical product into your body? Yes, we are. Well, then you should have no say in the matter because it's your body, someone else's choice. So my body, my choice is a false statement, which would have you thinking even more like a leftist now. Now that we solved that one, let's take a peek at how you can look at any incident and decipher, is it an insurrection? Are you being led into the Capitol building by a security guard? Yes. Well then, it is an insurrection and those bastards should spend a year and a half in prison as political prisoners because they're insurrectionists. And you were thinking like a leftist. Okay, now let's say, no, you're not going into the Capitol building. Well, are you storming the Supreme Court and protesting outside the homes of judges, even though that carries a one year jail sentence? Yes, you are. Okay, well that's different because it's much worse, which makes it better. So no, that is not an insurrection because you're just trying to overthrow the justice system of the US because you're a leftist. Now let's see how the leftist mind thinks about this question. Is freedom of speech dangerous? Well, is it free speech being used by the media to propagate dangerous narratives that harm people? Yes. Well then, no, freedom of speech is not dangerous because you're thinking like a leftist. Okay, back here. Is free speech being used by the media? No. Well, is it being used by ordinary citizens as it is their constitutional right to do so, to share information so they can make decisions based on their own free will? Yes. Then yes, freedom of speech is always dangerous and should be banned because you're thinking like a leftist. All right, next. Should you virtue signal at all times, even when you have no idea what you're virtue signaling about? Answer, yes, because that's the left thing to do. Now for a wild card. Should you stand with the LGBTQ flag because that community means more to you than anything else? Yes, always. Okay, well, should you stand with Ukraine at the same time? Yes. Then for maximum virtue signaling points, should you alter the LGBTQ flag to include Ukraine colors? Answer, yes. You'd have to be a moron not to. And then given that gay marriage is banned in Ukraine and therefore Ukraine is against the LGBTQ community, do you continue to virtue signal for both at the same time? Answer, uh, I don't know what you're talking about because you sound racist right now. Yes. You should stand for both. Congratulations, you're thinking like a leftist. Now let's think about this question. Is racism everywhere? Yes, all people are racist. No exceptions. Pretty straightforward and nuanced. Well then, does that mean you're racist? No, why? Because everyone is racist except me. Makes sense from there. Do you agree with Joe Biden, who's white, when he says you should judge people based on the color of their skin, not the content of their character? 
Yes, I agree with Joe Biden, who's white. So does that mean you disagree with Martin Luther King Jr., who's black, when he says the opposite, which is, you should judge a person based on the content of their character, not the color of their skin? I disagree with Martin Luther King Jr., who's black. Okay then why do you agree with a white guy's perspective on racism and disagree with a black guy's perspective on racism? Answer, everyone is racist except me because I think like a leftist. Make sense? And now for the age old question, do masks work? Yes, therefore you should always wear one. You gotta respect the science. But do masks really work? Yes but also no. Mine won't work unless you wear one too. Therefore, you must always wear one too because, out of the line, my body, my choice is a false statement as we've already established. People should have no say whether they wear one or not. Okay, now back here. Do masks work? Yes. Are you Fauci? Yes. Are you hanging with celebrities and you want them to see your ugly face so you can feel significant? Yes. Okay, well, do masks still work? Yes, they do, but you don't have to wear one because my body, my choice. So unless you're Fauci, enjoy wearing your mask in your car by yourself to protect you from yourself because you're thinking like a leftist. Is it fascism or is it democracy? Now these are two very different forms of governing, so this should be easy to answer. Let's take free speech for example. Is it fascism or democracy? Well, is it a conservative talking? Yes. Then it's clearly fascism and we must destroy freedom of speech in order to save our democracy. Okay, another scenario. We've got free speech, conservative talking, no, it is not. Well, is it someone using threats, intimidation, and violence to silence the opposition? Yes. Is it Hitler doing it? Yes. Then it's clearly fascism. Back here. Is it Hitler doing the threats, intimidation, and violence? No. Is it you doing it? Yes. Well then, it is a necessary aspect of a democracy being used to save our democracy. Thank God for you being a leftist. Now, as a leftist, if there's one thing you love more than lockdowns, it's fear-mongering about the climate crisis. But here's the question you gotta learn how to think through. Is the climate crisis severe enough that ice caps will melt immediately? Are you a normal person? Yes. Well then, the climate crisis is severe, the ice caps are melting immediately, and cities will be underwater soon unless something drastically changes. Okay, starting here again, are you a normal person? No. Okay. Are you Obama? Yes. Do you continually fearmonger about the severity of the climate crisis? Yes. Oh. Well then go ahead and buy that $12 million beachfront estate on Martha's Vineyard that you already purchased because the climate crisis is not severe, therefore there's no immediate threat of rising oceans. And now you're thinking about climate change like a leftist. Okay, another scenario. Climate crisis severe. Are you a normal person? No. Are you Obama? No. Are you Bill Gates? Yes. Do you continually fearmonger about the severity of the climate crisis? Answer, yes. Oh, well then go ahead and buy that $40 million beachfront property in San Diego that you've already purchased because there's no way it'll be underwater because the climate change is not severe. Okay, one more time. Climate crisis, are you a normal person? No. Are you Obama? No. Are you Bill Gates? Also no. Well. Are you Al Gore? Yes. Well then the climate crisis is severe and the ice caps have already melted and all the coastal cities are already underwater since 2016 as you predicted they would be in an inconvenient truth. And that's how to think about the climate crisis like a leftist. 
really couldn't be more cut and dry. Now we live in very divided times and you'll regularly encounter people who have different perspectives than you. But how can you tell if they're right or you're right? Well, are you rage crying about it? Yes, that got scrunched. Then you are right and they are wrong in this situation. Not done yet. What about this? Do they have good science, integrity, and morals behind their perspectives? Yes. Okay, so they have science, integrity, and morals behind them, but are you mentally ill? Oh, you're offended that I asked? Then yes, you are mentally ill, therefore you are right and they are wrong in this situation. Okay, let's go back here. They got science, yes. Are you mentally ill? Oh. You're not offended that I asked, cool. But are you rage crying? Yes. Oh, you are mentally ill. Therefore, you are right and they are wrong in this situation. And now you're well on your way to having your brain washed in leftist logic. All right, and finally, let's get ready to shut down all the science deniers out there because we're gonna answer this question. Can men get pregnant? Answer. Yes, men can get pregnant. The only exception is a few men who suffer from rare infertility problems. That's great and very scientifically sound. And because men can get pregnant, should men have a say on abortion? Answer, absolutely no say. Okay, well why not? Answer, only women should have a voice in the matter because no, men can't get pregnant. Don't be an idiot. Okay, but are you Bill Gates? Yes, you are Bill Gates. Well then, yes, men can get pregnant because you already look pregnant, Bill. And that pretty much solves the riddle if men can get pregnant or not because you're thinking like a leftist. And that's it. Now you're thinking like a leftist. It's kind of like a just imprint this into your mind and you won't have to think anymore style of thinking. It's pretty straightforward. Enjoy having your mind function like this. Any questions? Hey there, my friend. I would be honored if you joined me on my Awaken Warrior newsletter list to ensure we stay connected in the threat of growing censorship. You can do so at awakenwithjp.com slash join me. I'll see you on the inside.